Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have another spring preview from Old Navy to go through today, and I'm really excited about this one because we're kind of gonna run the gamut between things you'd wear on like a casual low-key day, things you can possibly wear to work depending on your work environment, things you can wear to summer or spring weddings. Like we have a little bit of everything going on today. I will have everything listed and linked for you down below. So starting off with a dress, I mean, what can't you do with like the perfect little black dress in the spring and summer. Also love the fact that this is obviously a great option to transition into the fall season as well. Like how darling would this look tucked under a denim jacket with some boots. This does have a ruffled tiered skirt that isn't too short. It hits like right around the knee depending on how tall you are. There's nothing crazy going on back there. She is what she is. This is also 100% cotton as is everything you're going to see here today. I'm like a broken record at this point but I've been actively flipping synthetics out of my closet in favor of natural fibers and 100% cotton and 100% organic cotton are definitely my favorites. Another dress option that I thought would be perfect again for like a special occasion, especially if you have some lower key weddings on the horizon. How gorgeous is this cotton maxi dress? They're calling this color claw. In person, it is definitely like a beige with a beautiful pale pink undertone, but love the feminine details. This embroidery on the shoulders is just so darling. You do have the functional buttons running down right to the empire waist. She is lined with a cotton lining and you do have a ruffle detail at the end of the skirt with some more of that embroidery found there. And again, just a really pretty classic silhouette that could basically be worn for so many different occasions, whether it's just a random Tuesday Day, or again, if you are using this to wear for a special occasion. cotton tops I love tops that can transition easily from season to season it's like the best bang for your buck so of course had to check out this white cotton top love the fact that this does have a longer sleeve but for once in my life I actually don't mind that the cuff is elasticized because that means you can push it up and kind of roll it over itself in the warmer weather to stay cooler this is super breezy on it's not thick at all now it does have some of that natural crinkling to it which I'm noticing is like a big trend these days with cotton garments and then you just have a continuation of everything that's simple and good in the back now to style this I went two different routes the first thing I wanted to style it with was a great pair of elevated shorts again sticking to that neutral family what a great option to wear for a brunch date jack this outfit up with some heels if you can wear elevated shorts to work they do have the length to them and then of course you do have some functional pockets in the back they do have a little button detail on it which keeps it cute and i forgot to mention these pockets in the front are functional as well these are very very lightweight now, i did go up to a size six in these which is my default for shorts normally i'm a four six in pants and then the other bottom i wanted to style that white cotton shirt with was this pair of chinos are you guys noticing like chinos in old navy's world are like front and center what i love most about this pair is obviously that olive color just like a great tone to transition again spring to summer to fall you do have a normal zip fly these do sit higher on the waist functional front pockets and then the bottom while they are cuffed you can uncuff them so it's not tacked really comfortable on and then what's nice too is you do have the elasticized waist in the back and these just provide a really really comfortable fit
Okay, so next up, a pair of white denim jeans. I mean, I think we're all on the search for like the perfect pair for the warmer months, and you can wear white denim in the wintertime too, but this is a high rise. They also have nude pocket linings, which, oh, thank you so much. When they go with a white pocket lining, it just shows through under the white. That nude is gonna make those pocket linings disappear. Of course, you do have a nice straighter leg. There is no fraying on the end of this cuff, and then there are functional pockets in the back. Now, I will say this, I'm not a huge fan of this silhouette for me personally. I like to be stuffed like a sausage in my jeans. These were like a little too loose. If you've got some gorgeous curves, some hips, you will love these because they're super accommodating through that area. I also did not find these to be transparent or showing everything you got underneath whatsoever always a bonus and then to style them wanted to go with like a very cute feminine chambray top so i saw this puff sleeve version and just fell in love with it love the fact that you have that ruffle detailing along the scoop neck again you got a puff sleeve now she is a little bit short so if you do not like your tops to show off potentially some of your midriff would recommend just sizing up. I think that would give you the length that you need to feel comfortable. And then it is what it is in the back. All those design elements just continue back there, which I think is such a nice touch. This feels very good on. It's like the perfect weight. And again, this looks so amazing with a white bottom, whether it is tucked into a white skirt, worn with a great pair of white jeans, or even thrown on with a pair of white shorts. Okay, this next top and I, we kind of like duked it out a little bit. Online, I thought it looked darling. In person, I've just come to realize I cannot function with a tie strap. I can never get them to sit right on my shoulders. But if you can master the art of a tie strap, I say go for it. Now, one thing to warn you about, this girl does have a lot of flounce to her. So she does tend to give you a slight maternity vibe. If that is not your thing, you probably aren't going to like this top. But if you don't mind it, it's a great option because it does have that smocking in the back. So regardless of whether or not you are busty up top or a little bit lacking, she's going to accommodate you either way. And again, like what a great look with a pair of white denim and some heels for a great summer date night option. So when I was in Dallas recently visiting my parents, there was an Old Navy that is literally like five minutes from their house. I do not have one in the entire state of South Dakota. I did an in-store try-on of all their denim shorts. I found the most perfect fitting pair of cut off distressed shorts. Why did I not buy them at the time? Still not sure. So when I came home, I placed an order for what I thought would be the exact same pair. These fit just a little bit differently than that pair in the store. Not sure I'm gonna keep them, but if you guys are looking for just like a quintessential pair of distressed cut off denim shorts, you've got to check these out. These have a really nice fit to them. It is a higher rise, it's a zip fly. The distressing is there, but it's not like crazy and obnoxious. And then while you do have functional pockets in the back, this does come with secret smooth pockets. So I'm assuming that just means it's gonna give you a really flattering silhouette and look in the front and on the derriere as well. This is another OG straight silhouette and it does have a little bit of spandex in them to give them the perfect amount of stretch. I did go with a size six, which I mentioned is my default for shorts. And then to style them, I just wanna like the most basic of the basic, a classic white crew neck t-shirt. Gotta tell you, Old Navy's cotton t-shirts are the best. They put Gap's organic cotton t-shirts to shame. These I found hold their shape. They're also not super see-through, which I appreciate. And it's just a classic. It's like the perfect length for tucking in, keeping untucked. I love these t-shirts, so I wanted to add another one to my arsenal. Okay guys, and the final thing I'm gonna show you is like the most random pop of color in this mainly neutral preview. But I am like a moth to the flame when it comes to red and pink combinations. Have no idea why, but I saw this dress and I wanted to try her on in person. Comes with these darling puff sleeves. She does have pockets, another ruffled tiered skirt. And then you have this beautiful pink color blocking at the bottom just to add like some zing. You have a nice little keyhole design in the back with a button at the nape of the neck. 
This to me is just like such a great versatile dress to have in your collection if you're looking for something like this. If you live in a warmer climate, she is the perfect dress to wear for the Christmas season. Obviously great Valentine's option. Do you have a wedding coming up? What a great dress to wear. Just super fun, even if you just throw her on on a random Wednesday, just because you can. Okay guys, so that'll do it for the latest and greatest spring preview from Old Navy. I'm so happy to see them coming out with more 100% cotton styles for the warmer months. Now, one thing I will say, I would love to see Old Navy commit to paying its factory workers a living wage. I feel like if one major retailer takes that step, everybody else is going to follow suit but in any event i will have everything listed and linked for you down below to check out so thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today i hope you're having a good one and i'll see you in the next video bye Let's try that again. Testing one, two, three for height and hair and are my cheeks a little too rosy today? <laughs>